Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and Minister. You're very welcome here uh, in the College today. And it, it's actually the uh, 50th anniversary of our building. We're celebrating Lasden, uh, who built it. And I would encourage you in the day to look at the various museum things that are around the College on the three floors. They really are uh, very interesting. I'm particularly pleased this conference is here at the physicians because after all physicians are going to be involved in explaining and persuading patients and to put them in, encourage them to go into clinical trials. They were actually key in the process of developing uh, future changes. Uh, last week the Harvern lecture oration, our primary lecture each year was given by by uh, Gurdon, John, Sir John Gurdon, about stem cells, and we hear today on the radio about stem cells in Poland, possibly uh, improving spinal cord injury, which is one of the areas that a charity I'm involved with, Henry Smith Charity, has been funding uh, for many years. So that and new personalised medicines are really very exciting uh, for the future. Uh, I notice also in the magazine there's work on apps, medical apps, and we indeed have a, uh, an app fellow uh, at the college who's working on that area. I'd like to give you two notes uh, of caution, if I may, to start off uh, the, the, the day. First of all, I think we have to remember that the public are very worried about big data. I myself don't do online banking because I'm worried what will happen to my money. There's so many things you, you hear about and the patients are naturally anxious and I think we should go slowly in trying to explain to the public the great benefits of opting out rather than opting in uh, and pseudo-anonymization, which I always think is not a very encouraging word for the public to, to, uh, to read. So I think we've got to remember the public will move slowly, the patients, and we shouldn't push too far too fast. Secondly, a lot is talked about the expense that will be saved by having personalised medicine. I am actually somewhat doubtful about the overall cost. I mean, we look at $400,000 uh, a year for the drug to, to treat hemolytic urinic syndrome every year, and there are many other drugs approaching that. Uh, and in my view, many of the personalised medicines will be very expensive, be a huge load. And secondly, as I'm fond of pointing out, uh, on the public health side, the longer we keep people living, the longer they draw their pensions, and we know that overall in the NHS the expense is the last few years of life. So is there really going to be a saving? I'm not saying we shouldn't do it, but I worry that nations more and more are going to put a lot of money uh, into the health service to uh, bring, out, bring about personalised medicine. So I hope that the day goes well. Uh, I think it's really important. Uh, if there is a fire alarm, it's for real, and gather in the car park outside where the rain will put out the fire. So have a good day, and over to Anthony Wall.